All right, so I am um, about to do this dungeon. Ada says, welcome back. Thank you. We're going to go do this dungeon, and then we'll see how I feel. I might I might wrap up the stream a little early. All right, hard. Let's do hard mode. Why not? I think we can get some decent upgrades that way. Storm Cry Grotto. It's going to be the Goonies. Always do hard mode. Well, you have to do it twice for the map completion. Um... If do it both ways. So I, I was doing it on hard with uh, when Azaria joins me. I like this guy, Spotted Bat. We got different music here. Getting ready for the big storm, Justin? Are we having a storm? I don't know if we're getting a storm. It did get very cold today. What'd you say? Oh, yeah? Oh, I just don't know about it then. They said, sorry, said they're putting salt on the on the roads. So. Tonight into Friday by you, Rosewolf? Okay, well, we'll see. It's probably not going to be major. So you have to go back to normal for the tome? Yeah, that's annoying. I, I don't know why they do this, but look. See, look, when I... When I did this, we did this one on hard. This one I did on easy. So it's like whatever, you have to do it twice if you wanted to count for both. Like, do I have any of them where I've done twice? Yes, this one I've done. Greyhammer mine twice, both ways. Connecticut's gonna get some tomorrow morning. You got your snow blower ready to go, Zale? All right, well, we'll see what we get. Um, 12 Makokos here? Oh, I gotta get to the right map then. What is this called? Storm Cry? You know, it's funny. Now I'm having issues with Papanuka. I got cursed. Isn't that funny? What was the other, uh, what was the other link? Oh no, this is the one that has Makoko seeds behind killing all the bats and slimes. What does that mean? Isn't it max roll that GG for Lost Ark? Kill every bat and slime you see. One sec. There's the Makoko guide. Ah, who cares? You know, I'll do it some other time. It's not working. <laughs> Behold! I discovered this place before you! Aha! It's my turn to shine now! I will clear this place of the Redfin Pirates and dedicate this shining victory to King Thyraid! Ha 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 ha! Here I come! You filthy pirates! Taste the blade of Lord Cows! Follow me! Oh, I really have to do a dungeon with this creep? There are one-way jumps, meaning if you mix one, you'll have to start over. I'm gonna... I'll worry about it some other time. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. The, the map's not working, and... I'll probably do it again to do it on normal anyway, so... Get it all done at once if I need to. out the way hello cows 
we don't get a hey you guys, I'm gonna be disappointed. The foolish pirates are below. Wait, hold on. That's my ship, the one we're building. Uh, what do I pay those guards for? They stole his they ship. They set sail out of here. It's all over. After them, hurry! Hey, you guys! No! Who is this, Lord Farron? Lord Farron at least has is is endearing. This guy's a complete tool. Don't follow me. Cinematic camera throwing up the spyglass filter is really cool. Yeah, it was funny. I thought the same thing. I'm like, all right, a little neat effect there. Aida says, I wonder what Lord Farron will do in End of Dragons. Well, you know. He'll throw his little mantis around and hope to save the world. What is this lava cave? Large cave slime. Not a lava cave slime. That would be dangerous. Yeah, they're little cuties. Please, let us go. I'll give you anything you want. Shut your traps or else. This is a very echoey cave. Miss. 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 You guys are all missing. Miss, miss, miss. I wonder what these guys are thinking. Watching me come in and basically like killing all of them in like four hits. We're, we're safe. Coco. Thank you. I found it. I know, right? Hopefully put on clothes. Did I just find a secret? Oh. That's weird how that does that. Disorienting. Makoko! I'm not going to say no to Makoko's I find easily. Part of an island quest has you to go back to two dungeons. Everything dies immediately. Yep. Do you guys like overpowering zones when you level up and come back to something? Or do you like uh, a game that scales the difficulty as you level? Still not ready yet. So that we everything remains a challenge like, a move on it. consistently. Which one do you guys prefer? I don't know if I have a total preference. I like that some games do it one way and some games do it another. I can see why you would want the enemies to scale so that the content never becomes like too boring or obsolete but i will say like one thing that people really like doing in world of warcraft was going back to old content and trying to like solo it or duo it or you know things like that you know take a raid boss that used to take 40 people and try to do it with just a couple friends oh i'm gonna die Woo! i got spicy real quick Oh my god! Stop stunning me. Jeez and pissy. Yeah, 
has to make sense with the rest of their game design note. Yeah. But then you never feel like you grow. Yeah, but it's all a trick though. game becomes too easy for you you lose interest well i'm assuming there was you know in that in that model right where you you can out level zones and stuff like that that there is content for your difficulty and your 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 level it's just if you choose to go back to an earlier zone you just slaughter everything with one hit Sometimes it's fun to have a game like Outward though, where like all of the difficulty of all of the critters and everything is set right from the get go. And like you can wander as a first level character to the wrong place, like not too far from where you start and like you are going to die real bad. But even, and actually there is still some skill based combat with that where even if you're incredibly out geared and out, you know, low level, you could kite something long enough or outmaneuver something long enough to take it down. But what I found was anytime I really did that in Outward, there wasn't, it wasn't super rewarding, you know? Some games like you managed to kill something a little ahead of time and you're like, wow, I got a big chunk of experience or I got some really cool item. That really, I didn't feel like that happened much in Outward when you risked yourself for something tough, yeah. Dark Souls, yeah, exactly. A Souls-based game is like that too. But um Yeah, I guess I guess you I guess especially in the original Dark Souls, you can start off and just wander a bunch of different ways. You can go towards hard stuff right away. And if you can outmaneuver it, you can actually take it out. You found the combat too hard to be honest it, it's a it's a very hard it's a very challenging game outward there's a lot of things here hi everybody well, that's got to be the slime where the mokokos are is there a mokoko there You tried to play outward a couple times. I think I need a guy to get me going because I can just never make more progress than it. Yeah, there, there, there were times where I floundered and struggled to make any kind of forward momentum. But when you, what I recommend, like I remember the beginning of that game. The beginning of the game, you have to pay off like a, a, a big, really big debt 
within just a couple of days to like save your lighthouse was it a lighthouse i think it was a lighthouse and i i wound up failing that but i think what you can do is you literally just leave the town and go to the beach the beach is right near the town if you take the, the right exit and you can get one of the objects you need to clear that debt right at the start and that gives you a huge leg up because you don't have to spend like a ton of money like getting out of debt and you don't and you have a place to stay yeah there's a guy on the beach or something yeah you did that and got destroyed by the giant crab there are there are giant insect monsters on the beach that you should avoid but yeah there's something you can get hi guys But ultimately, uh, yeah, I gave up on that game too. I wanted, I wanted to enjoy it more than I was, but I really think, uh, I really think it's a fun game. It, it was a little too, you had to manage too much stuff, like the inventory and the weight. And then that kind of stuff was, was tough. I did like the, even though it got a little repetitive, I did like the mechanic when you die, like you don't really die. You somebody rescues you and you wake up in a strange place and you kind of have to deal with that like it's part of the story like where am i and how do i get back to where i where, where i was i'll break through their wrecks you go destroy their supply. i just i destroyed their supplies yeah it was random where you wake up yeah Is there a prereq butter quest before before the, the uh, crab quest? No, I don't think so. We have to do 10 of these? Oh, that's already five. Okay, that's acceptable. Eight. Sometimes you got rescued. Sometimes it got a lot worse if you were unlucky. Yeah. I mean, there were, there were ways, like, even when you got caught in the prison, there were ways to get out of it. I think I went to the prison once and, uh, you just have to work your way out. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on here. Get moving, you scum. Prepare to set sail. Hey, you guys. That's it. We're going to go jump on a ship. Posty Topper says you bought Elden Ring, but it'll be your first Dark Souls game. I hope you don't rage over it. From what I hear, and I don't know too much about it yet, I'm trying to avoid all spoilers and stuff. What I hear, it is um, probably going to be the Souls game that people will recommend a new person try first from now on, you know? Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can't wait to play it. And I hope you enjoy it. <gasps> My ship! It's beautiful design. I've, I designed all of it, and now it's gone. What am I going to tell His Majesty? What? You're going to keep fighting? What do you mean? Gun for you? Oh, I see. I displayed unexemplary behavior for a moment there. I'll go with your plan. Keep tracking them down. I'll hold off any pirate trying to pursue you. This is the true spirit of noble chivalry. Bring it on, you filthy pirates. Is he going to be a good guy now? Do we show him Hurry, the light? Go. I'll hold 
them off here. Okay, is he actually going to be useful? That's pretty cool. Is that a chicken? Oh! Chickens! Nox? Hello. Boom! Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. That was hurdy. Just stay asleep. I don't mind. Oh, why well, try to dodge? Back attack. Give me all those items. I think I got some items, didn't I? Oh, I have lots of stuff. 205 for these gloves. Winged helmet. Hey, I'm changing my pants. Can you guys hold off for a second? Stop hitting me. I'm changing my pants. I bet you regret all of your life choices now. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Master Reinhardt, how you doing? I'm doing all right, Master Reinhardt, considering everything going on in the world at this moment. Just doing a dungeon in Lost Ark. We hit level 41 today. But I'm probably going to wrap it up a little bit early after this dungeon. Okay, fine. Activation. You get one shot at this. Just gonna hit that ship as it's sailing away. I think we missed. That's the boat that uh, Cal's designed. Does not look elegant. This ship looks better. Broadsides and boarding parties. Oh, good. Cal ship sucked. And Cal's is like, no, not my ship. Use the ballista. Then they exploded. There we go. That's beautiful. I thank you. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. 
But I guess you'd say. What's gonna make me feel that way? Coco. They call the creaky rope noises and ship noises you hear in the background. It's very creaky. Flip the switch. Crane. Oh, we can climb up and swing over to the ship. And take out the bads. I like that plan. Get your fat butt up there. Imagine climbing in full plate mail. You like this dungeon? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it is a cool environment. There you are, you overfed rat. Oh, show some respect, Missy. My name's High Bike. I am He Bike. Oh, High Bike. First mate of the Redfin Pirates. And you're too late. Captain Ed already set sail to find Blood Claw's booty. Awful chatty for a dead man. He Bike is a weird you? name. <sighs> Fine. He's all yours. I have him. I'm very angry! I think I missed. Because I'm silly. This whole clan of pirates is like Bloodclaw believed in honor among pirates. One second. He worked for peace on the sea. A treasure that he strove to keep hidden, even if it meant his death. I understand now. Come on, let's get you back. It's a whole pirate crew full of people who raided like the spirit Halloween store in October. You know? They bought up all the booty pirate costumes. So you're really looking for the Ark? Sure. <laughs> it's a fairy tale. <laughs> oh, it's not I already found part of it. <sighs> but you're not the first fool I've met obsessed with that thing. Captain, port ahead. Come yeah, find me. Lady, when you're I have one in my back pocket. Exactly. I have something for you. Is it a puppy? It's a puppy. The Ark, there's like a million of them, I thought. Is, is seven? Isn't it seven? Is it seven? Or am I imagining that? Oh, it's, it's Black Fang! Ah! There's seven, right? And, and, and Korea has found how many? Three or four? Take it. Blood Claw gave this to me. Although it's currently sealed by a certain power, I heard it's actually a map of an island called Tortoik. Tortoik. You think all seven in Korea? Edot? Oh, people, people were telling me the other day that it was less than that. Yeah. 
Oh, you just got the third Robin? Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I'm wrong. Those damn red fins only left half of it intact, but it seems there's definitely something valuable there. When I found Tor Tortoik a long time ago, it was nothing but a tiny bunch of rocks. Perhaps you'll find something there. Tortoik? Really? Finding a way around the sea. All right. Oh, I got my ship. The red fins are no more. Good riddance. A stoke captain. Can I rename my boat? I'll admit, Thyrain held up his end of the deal. <laughs> I guess he's all right. Anyway, it's time for me to raise anchor. All right, there you go. Here. According to pirate legend, Bloodclaw disappeared trying to find some amazing power. This map shows the last place he went. Maybe it'll lead you My to the ark you're looking for. And maybe it won't. But you're gonna need a ship. And I have one to spare. She's handing out ships. All right, all right, it's fixer upper, but uh, okay. Oh, Eshoo. you're the knight from Lutera. Wait a minute, what? Listen to her. Oh, you're the knight from Lutera. <laughs> oh, you're the knight from Lutera. <laughs> oh. You're the knight from Lutera. That's so good. I would love to be able to do this kind of voice acting. It's like, how do you want us to be? You can just be really silly and exaggerated and we don't care. Really? Really? Oh, you're the knight from Lutera. Perfect. Is there a hot key to go to the ship directly? Control alt caps lock numlock P2. Oh, you're the knight from Lutera. There we go. There's Elastic Alaska Winter's new Patreon sound effect. Oh, you're the knight from Lutera. All right, I'm Eshu. If you want to officially work with me, you need to sign my crew application form. Higher crew members. You've gained applications. But where? Where have I? A shoe. Oh, okay. So that'll... I can use that at my stronghold or... I don't know. Yes. I recruited you. There's he bake. He bike. Pirate's hidden crate. Oh, nice. Hold on. Did my color get worse? got worse I hate that make it better next time make it better make it better look forward to working with you landlubber you can hire more crew members if you want for instance you can buy crew applications from merchant ships some crewmen require special conditions for their crewmen what kind of conditions? That depends on the crewman. Some sailors might join you after you've been close enough to them. Oh, and if you find additional applications for crew members you already have, you can exchange them for pirate coins. Now then, see what the dock. Oh, this is the way I can get pi pirate coins. Some NPCs are part of your crew when open world sailing and not the stronghold missions. Okay, cool. The Quayside is teeming with people waiting for you. You, be you being Lutera's sword isn't a complete rumor, huh? To sail with such a famous hero, can't wait for our first voyage together, Captain. I'll go first and fetch us your ship. You just noticed something in one of the loading screen tutorials about gems. They show their inventory and they have 10 million gold and 998 million silver. Well, at level one, I had like 200,000 silver so that doesn't surprise me everything's inflated yeah 
So, you're really leaving Lutera now? Yep. You'll always be remembered by everyone as the hero of Lutera. Okay, thanks, Mayhem. There's Castleford. So, you're really leaving? Yep. Thanks to you, I found a new king, protected my family, and came to lead the knights. Yeah, well, you owe me everything. <laughs> I've already briefed his majesty on our feats at Stormcry Grotto. You don't need to go through the trouble of doing it again. Ha ha, he was certainly quite surprised by my performance. So you're really gonna leave now? I, Cal's the noble sword protecting Lutera will always be at his majesty's side. If you ever come back to Lutera, let's determine who the true Lutera sword is by sparring at the Proving Grounds. I will beat you. Open seas. All ready to set sail? Yeah. As sad as I am to say goodbye, at least I get to see you. How can anybody be sad of goodbyes in a world where you can teleport to triports, like, and just be instantly back? God, you hate cows. I know, they literally, they made a guy like, let's make like a really annoying guy who is like competes with you over everything, even though you don't compete back. And then we're gonna give him a slight redemption arc. So he's technically like on everyone's side. But you still hate him the entire game? Yeah, that's him. Mm -hmm. Oh, because triports are continent? You can't teleport across ocean. Oh, okay. So then it does make sense why they're saying goodbye. Take care now, my old friend. Wherever you go, Lutero will always be by your side. All right. So you're really leaving. I hope to travel too, once everything settles down here. To fight the demons, we'll need to unite all Arcasia. I shall seek out the Sidereals. And Armin. One of the NPCs called well. them side reels. I thought that was great. I'm like. Our quest is just getting that started, through. my friend. May Regulus's light guide your path. Hail the hero of Lutera! <laughs> You always pronounce it that way by accident. It took me a while to read it as si sidereals because it looks like side reels. You can't take two words, like make a compound word and then change how you pronounce it to be other than those compound words. It gets really confusing. Engraving. Need to get some Gilbert Gottfried voice acting in there. Engravings are activated based on the engraving effect bonuses on your accessories. Congratulations on your maiden voyage, Captain. Open the crew list to add crew members to your ship. What? But for now, ready to sail with me using set sail? <laughs> Is that a question? All right, first things and first, the important stuff. Skin list. I can't... What is that, a red killer whale? Oh, I need the red killer whale. Can I spend a hundred dollars and get it right now? Tortoik, a wrong turtle. Look, they've had turtle mounts first. Okay, cool. Siren seas. Oh, how funny. <laughs> How can I buy more? Not here. Upgrade. Yeah, make a level two. Oh, I have nothing. Check what parts your ship requires. Ship parts can be obtained. Where did it say ship parts can be obtained? What? Do it again. Give me that little hint again. No? Oh, I can, can I rename this over and over and over again? Or just one time? You probably have some of those parts from a Lago Nord. It's probably my bank. Yeah, over and over. Okay, cool. So, um. We'll combine the uh, Krusty Krab 
with the chum oh i was gonna say the crust the crusty bucket yeah we can name it tacoma yes tacoma is such a good name oh my god yours is ugly duckling Yeah, you can name it, Blaziken. The Estonk is not great. All right. Um, can you have a space? Yours is the Estonk? How could you not change it? Stroke sounds fancy. Can you have a space? Oh man, anything. I wanted the body barnacle. I can't get anything good. They don't give me enough. The body otter. The body otter. Sure. It didn't change? Oh, it's have to be. Yeah, now you gotta change your name to get an achievement. Unless you added the the. That <laughs> sale. It's easier than you thought, isn't it? Ships have durability, which decreases while they move. They can't set sail anymore once they've run out of durability. Okay. Why did I get silver plus 577? Fast selling. Her pacing is so odd. Yeah, it's it is odd. Captain, there's floating treasure over there. You can obtain pirate coins or refill your fast sailing gauge by searching the flotsam around the ocean. Pirate coins can be used for trading with merchant ships or for hiring new sailors. Oh, there we go. I'm finally getting While pirate sailing, coins. You can move quickly by using fast sailing spacebar. If you are tired of steering the ship yourself, you can also use auto sailing. T. Spacebar. I like how she says it in her char in character. Spacebar. I can't get more. You think power cords from Flotsam is not existent outside the tutorial? You never see him. Oh, that's a shame. So what is this? Do I have to do something to pick these up? No, that's shooting. Dragnet. You think that was just for the tutorial and everyone just run over them? All right, well, I can't really get anything there. Can I get this? are always fast sailing and wood piles are repair oh okay oh 
Do you see that? Captain! No! That's a merchant ship! <laughs> they might have some goods for us! Oh my Let's god! Let's get to them with fast sailing! She's really bad. Where are you pointing? Crashed. Hello, we're a wandering merchant ship filled with rare goods. Seeing as you're a captain without an inkling of the rough seas, that must be a fairly new boat. Of course, all promising captains are our future customers. If you can pirate coins, make a deal with us. We sell high quality materials you can use to upgrade your ship. All right, what else do you need? Sea squirts and conches. Yes, I'll ask him about that. Oh yeah, let's go. Use the T key. You look perfectly fine. I'll say it again. It's pirate's coins. Things will be expensive, so the okay. The Team Leaper Guild captain must like you. Thanks to traveling merchant ships like his, you can even trade on the seas. <laughs> oh, I can get Guinness <gasps> coins. Off we go again. Sun coins? Oh my god, look at all these coins. I don't have any idea what that does. Okay. All right. Okay. You can get basic timber. The essence of the ocean. And you can dock your boat. Dock. I don't know. Was I supposed to get off here? I think I'm going to wrap things up there, gang. I docked. Oh, and I got the... I guess that's where I was supposed to go. There we go. Do do. There we go. New continent. Where the hell am I? So close. So close to Makoko Island. You should keep playing. How far is that? That's a whole nother zone away. That's like an hour or more. The problem is after today, I don't think we're going to be back in Lost Ark on stream. What's this? For a while, maybe, maybe for a while. What, what, what? There's something inside. Makoko's. What's this? This water bottle has something in it. That's sad. Do you like the Lost Ark streams? Yeah, they're nice and relaxing. But we got Gil. I mean, I don't know what to do. Gil Wars coming out on Monday. Gotta play through that. Maybe we'll play some more Lost Ark next week. We'll see. I don't know. And then we've got Elden Ring and Horizon Forbidden West Dawn thing. Yeah, all those things. Yeah. What's this? This water bottle has something in it. Check the water bottle. Should I pull it out? <laughs> pull it out. I'll open the letter inside it. The chain letter first began in Lutera Castle and was passed around for a full year, bringing good luck to its recipients. Oh no, not chain letters. Now it's arrived to you and you must leave you... What? And you... What? Now it's arrived to you and must leave you within the next four days. You must send this and six more copies of it to those who need good luck. Believe it or not, what I'm about to tell you is the truth. One man in Shushire re re received this letter and forgot to send it to others in four days. He lived as a prisoner for a long time afterward. Please treat this seriously. Send this letter and you'll have luck for three years. If you don't, you'll suffer for bad luck for seven. And do not throw this letter or, or wait. And do not throw this letter or scribble on it. Just throw it. 
Don't forget, it's seven copies. Those who receive the copies will have good luck. All right, there we go. We found a chain letter and I read the whole thing. Now we're gonna pass it on. There we go. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't need the arc. Right now, the main quest, finding all the arcs. Did I run out of main story? Is that what that basically means? Who are you? Are you? Are you a pirate? Wait, are you? Is his name Pastata? Pasta? Pastata? I want to say pasta because it's pasta, but it's Pastata. You basically follow the blue icon now. Okay. Main story is now the light blue, and why do they change colors? That's really weird. That's the world story. The main story is still this one. It's different. What are you doing to the Mokokos? What? what? It's not no. Mokokos. Why would I believe you? You're a Kokomo, an outsider. Wait, how can you say Kokomo here, but Mokokos there? This game is about to be unplayable. What are you doing to the Mokokos? What? No. Why would I believe you? Can't play You're it. You're a Kokomo. I can't play an it outsider. if they're the, they're the Mokokos. Just doesn't work. Oops. What are you doing to the Sorry. Mokokos? Uh, Mokokos? No. Kokomos? What are Why they? Why would I believe you? You're a Kokomo. An outsider. How could you not know that? The word Makoko identifies us dwarves living in Tortoik. Dwarves? Now I know the Kokomos are like muggles. Yeah. And Kokomo means everyone else who's not of my tribe like you. Do you get it now? Oh yes, I was on my way to save my friends, but um, I'd better let you handle it. Go save my friends, will you? Then I'll believe you're a good Kokomo. The other Makokos around here know where they are better than I do. Find my friends around here. Find my friends. I gotta put the letter in. Float the water bottle. There, I sent the chain letter. Worth it. Jeez. Oh, Akoya. Please keep your voice down. You're making my ears ring. Jeez, you scared the hell out of me. I'm already a nervous wreck because of the pirates. Wait, Pastata sent you? Really? How would I know how long the pirates have been here? But for some reason, they ransacked the island and inducted my people. They've also ruined the Boulder Seashore. It ruined. If this goes on, Boulder Seashore will be destroyed. Boulder Seashore. It doesn't look like I can run to Makoko Village either, right? I have to unlock it through the story. Yeah, I don't think I have the energy to do it today, okay? Uh, a Kokomo! Oh, you're not one of the pirates. Look at her legs! That's relief? Yeah, that's relief. Those stinking pirate Kokomos were using a map and searching for something. Now, I don't know what it was. If I was close enough to see the map, I would have been abducted by them too. My friends, I wonder where they are. Oh, maybe Paco Pakora? Pokora could help you. He's the fastest of us all. Pokora? I wonder what the pirates are looking for. They're looking for diapers. <laughs> Loaded diapers. Is there no Makoko? There's no, uh, Makoko seeds on this land? You want to help, Pastata? I knew you were different from them because you smell good. <laughs> Those strange Kokomos, they said they were looking for something and started talk 
taking away my friends when they said they didn't know anything the pirates locked them up and they set traps around them oh. please find kokomo help us hey alaska their name was tostada no po po pa pastada pastada like pasta with a ta Please find Kokomo, help us. My friends have been taken away. Please save them. Repair And oh, there's the storage guy. He probably has my ship stuff. I know I could probably get that from my pet too, but. Um, what do we want to get? Medic Society Special Die Chest. Ship Enhancement Chest. There we go. There we go. Trody's over there. Throw this stuff over there. Worry about it later on. Yatta diddly diddly la. I'm yelling, Timber! Ship blueprint selection chest? What would I want? What would I want there? You got off way early, Hope All as well? Well, it's a little bit of a scary day. And I was about to wrap up, of course. You get off early, so I was going to take off early. Not that those things are related. It's just unfortunate. So what do, what do I want out of these? Are these just different ship? Plum crab fishing vessel. Should probably open those. A blueprint that shows the design of the Astoke ship save those for now yeah i i, I don't want to touch that oh i got legendary uncommon card packs let's open all of them no whammies no whammies three legendaries no legendaries We got two epics. Invisca and Keshutur. 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 The Phantom King. All right, and these I'll put back. Not gonna mess around with that. Rock cave shrimp. It was a rock. Lobster down. Um. Oh, so it's still better than this. Interesting. Very interesting. Hello. That's not a vendor. That's not a vendor. There we go. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to wrap things up there, gang. 